So welcome to another very interesting hackerang challenge and today is going to be sparse arrays and it's going to be so easy and interesting if you know how to approach it. Now the difficulty level is medium, that does not mean that it's not easy. For me I think it is easy. Now the question says there is a collection of input strings and a collection of query strings. For each query string, determine how many times it occurs in the list of input strings and return an array of the results. So we have the input string here and we have the queries here. In this case, there are two instances of AB, right? AB, it's got AB here. So we have AB is one, it is two. And we have ABC appears once and BC appears uh, zero. So we are actually finding matching strings. So we can not say BC matches this BC here. Okay, great. Now, the easiest thing to do in this case is to use list comprehension. Now, look at my uh, channel or maybe check this description of this video. You can see link to list description tutorial is very short and very clear. So basically, you are going to find the counts uh, using list comprehension for each of these query items. So we are going to be solving this problem in the order of n, uh, order of n, where n is the length of the items in the query. So let's go ahead to write it. I'm not going to use a whiteboard. I'm just, I'm just going to write it. And as I'm writing, I'm explaining. So we are going to iterate the query for Q in queries. So now for Q in queries, we're going to create a new um, array uh, of items. I mean, for Q in queries, we are going to select in this, this string, we are going to select all the items, we're going to make a list of items where this Q is, this, is in this string. Of course, it can be an empty string, empty, empty array. So I'm going to call this array ARR is equal to, is a list of items in strings where the item is equal to uh, Q. Uh, so I'm going to say um, um, X for X in, in the strings, right? In the strings, this is a list comprehension syntax if uh, x is equal to q. So this is the list of items in the strings where uh, the, uh, the element is equal to the uh, current query. So I'm going to just append. We actually need a result to hold uh, our results. Result is equal to an empty string, empty array. So I'm going to append results. I'm going to append to this result the count of how many items are in this array we have. So result.append, I'm going to now say uh, the length of this array, okay. All right, so this is basically it. I'm not sure we're gonna go beyond this. I'm gonna simply return this result. And that is it. So basically that is the power of list comprehension. At this point, I'm going to submit and let's see what we have uh, right here. You can see it passes the straight test cases. I'm going to just go ahead to submit this code and you can see everything is green. So I'm going to be stopping here. I'd like to thank you for being there. Thank you for viewing. And also remember to subscribe to my channel and please leave me a comment if this has been informative for you. I remain kind on the genius and I'm always there for you.